All right, welcome to the Robert Show. We are here at Google Next, and look who I have with me, Arvin Jain from Glean. He's the founder and CEO. Arvin, welcome to the Robert Show. It's your debut. We've seen all the great work that you've done in the AI agent space. Uh, super excited to chat with you today. Likewise, thank you so much. Awesome. Uh, no better backdrop than you know having Glean here, and uh, I know you all have like a jam-packed booth, uh, and it's already day one. So I'm excited, but uh, just for audience, would you like to tell us more about the hype that's going around uh, around the agents and um, from a buzzword traditionally to truly, you know, the foundational intelligent agent? Uh, can you t tell us a little more about that? Yeah. So first, let me describe, you know, what Glean is. Yeah. Uh, sure. Think of it as Google or ChatGPT, but inside your company, Glean connects with all of your enterprise data and knowledge and then it gives people one place where you can go and ask questions or give it some work and it'll answer those questions or do that work for you using all of the world's knowledge but also using all of your company's internal data and knowledge. That's what makes Clean special and different from uh, a tool like ChatGPT. Uh, so that's, that's one part of what we do. Yeah. Now, but you know, these days you know, people are talking about agents. Uh, you can think of Glean as the master agent, the one that knows everything about the world, the one that knows everything about your company, and in general can actually help you with anything. But we're also an agent platform, nice. and we allow our customers to build all kinds of agents, you know, to actually automate your different business processes. For example, your HR team may want to actually build an agent to, to automate, like, you know, answering all the questions that, you know, people come to them with. Uh, similarly, your finance team or legal team or sales or marketing team, they can all do that work. Um, like, you know, like different types of work that businesses do, now they can automate them with agents. So that's what, that's what agents are. It's basically taking a specific business process and automating them using the intelligence of AI and the data access you know, within your enterprise. I love it. Thanks for those insights, uh, Arvind, yeah. uh, very well uh, put across. And um, since search has been the core for Glean's DNA, uh, yeah. as always, uh, from day one, uh, so can you tell me a little bit about, um, you know, how the, that foundation enables more intelligent, context-aware AI experiences for your customers? Because I'm pretty sure there are a lot of enterprise leaders who are kind of curious about this. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I mean, like, if you think about the AI models, whether it is GPT or Gemini or Claude or uh, any others, you know, they're all amazing technologies. Like, you know, technology like one that we've never seen before. They have the reasoning capabilities. They have, you know, generation capabilities. But one thing that they don't have is they don't know anything about your internal company's data or knowledge. Yeah. Uh, so if I were to go and ask a question to chat GPT, hey, how many days do I get off every year? Um, you know, it's not going to actually answer that for you. And so that's so that's where search comes in. Mm. You know, to make AI work in a private environment, in an enterprise, you have to actually connect your private enterprise information with the, you know, smarts and the reasoning capabilities of these AI models. Uh, and and that's, that's what Glean does, so that's, that's how our product works. Imagine any question that you have. The first thing that you would do is, you will, uh, when a user asks a question, you will ask search, your search system to right. assemble the right pieces of information. Right. And then you will make a model work on that information and the original question and, exactly. and come up with an answer. So that, that's why search has become such a core part of delivering AI in your enterprise. That's fantastic. And I know for a fact where you all work with more than 100 enterprises out there. Mm. So curious to know, you know, why is the, that breadth of integration so critical to today's employees, the, the workers as well? Yeah. Well, I mean, like any enterprise today, if you think about where work happens, you know, work is happening across many, many different systems. Right. Uh, you know, it could be applications like Google Drive or SharePoint. It could be Salesforce, Workday, ServiceNow, yep. Confluence. The list is so long, right? When you think about, you know, where we're doing work in our in our in our companies, that work, you know, really happens across all these different systems and applications. Right. And so now to actually like say that like look some of that work that humans are doing we want to do that with AI well you have to actually go and work with data inside those applications right exactly. and that's where these integrations become super important so like we know with us you know we were fortunate to actually you know start working on building this deep connectivity across a very broad range of enterprise applications like it makes us a really powerful platform 
to deliver AI right. for many different enterprise use cases. Yeah, I think that's a very good example that you've kind of you know put across where you know there's various uh, categories of working structures as well. Yeah, and uh, that's why search kind of plays a very important role there. Right. I'm kind of also curious uh, because we are still you know very much earlier in in the adoption curve yeah uh, what are your what are the biggest barriers you see when it comes to the adoption and how is you know glean trying to lower that barriers for the enterprise leaders out there yeah so um, AI is a very new technology right and the barriers so I'll, I will pick a few high level you know categories where enterprises face challenges yeah uh, number one the you have to make AI work in your enterprise, and we talked about that, like AI models don't know anything about your enterprise, your business, and so you have to sort of somehow connect your enterprise context, your data, your knowledge with the AI models. Right. And that's a difficult, that's a difficult you know, process, it takes time. You know, we have a tool that makes it easier, but still like, you know, there's a lot of work to be done there. Right. Second thing is that AI is a non-deterministic technology, we're all used to using machines in a particular way. We expect them to be precise. Very you true. Know, you ask them to do a task, they will actually do it in, in one specific way. Exactly. But this AI technology works like a human. Like, you know, like me. If you were to ask me to describe Glean to you uh, in, in four sentences, every time I say that to you, it's going to be a little bit different from like the last time because I can't use the same words, you know, precisely. Exactly. So you have to sort of learn how to actually use this new form of technology in an effective way. You know, it's not. It's, it's a. You know, it's imprecise. You know, you have to use that creativity. Very good. Uh, true. And then the last thing I would say is security. Hmm. The AI is, you know, creates a new type of security challenges. One, like you want to make sure that your data is not getting, you know, used to train public models. Um, you know, which now can actually take take your trade secrets out. And so you have to basically use AI carefully. That's been a big concern, which I think now I would say has been solved largely. But then like even inside your enterprise, most of your enterprise information is actually governed and secure. Yeah, like, you yeah. know, as a CEO, I can see certain information that, you know, my communications, you know, expert cannot see because, you know, That's they don't have right rights to it. Very important. So you have to sort of figure out when you are in the enterprise, how do you deliver AI in a safe and secure way and not leak information internally. So those exactly. are some of the key challenges that I know we have seen enterprises face. I love face. it, thanks for sharing those and definitely you know that's what one thing that I kind of hear from a lot of enterprise leaders as well when it kind of comes to governance and security. Yeah. If you're thinking about AI implementation, those are like two big pieces that you need to make sure uh, are kind of covered very well. Right. Also thinking a little bit about the future as well. Uh, yeah. What are you most excited about Arvind? And yeah. then we'll talk a little bit about the Google Cloud as well. Yeah. So. So we, I described to you like our, our agent platform yep. and also described our assistant. Now, I, I made a pretty big promise to you. I said that you can come to Glean Assistant, you can come and ask any question, right. you can give it any task, yep. it's going to use all of the world's knowledge, it's going to use all of your company's knowledge to answer that question or do your task. But right. in reality, if that were true, then you don't have to work anymore because you can <laughs> give it everything. Yeah. And, and so I think part of it is I think we are very early in the journey of AI. But the future does look like that, where 90% of our work, or majority of our work, is something that AI will be able to do. Yeah. I think today we may be at 5% or right. 10%. Right. And so we have, to, you know, we have to continue that journey, and that's what I'm excited about, number one. Like, you know, the way we work, everything's going to be fundamentally changing. Right. A lot of our work is going to be done by AI. AI. But, but I'll give you another, th another thing that I'm super yeah, excited we'll about. Yeah, I'd love to know more. The, it's not about like, you know, you, seeking help from AI. Mm -hmm. the, the future of AI is actually a lot more proactive. What I mean by that, and you know, we would love to be a part of this you know, the future experience. In the future, every employee mm -hmm. is going to have a, a team of people around them. Right. Uh, assistants, coaches, co-workers. Right who knows, who know everything about your work. Right. Um, and what you need to do today. Yeah. What are your weekly goals. Yeah. And they're constantly helping you in a proactive fashion. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, I'm commuting to work today and there is an agent, there's a, you know, that's actually helping me like understand my day and preparing me for it. Right. Be before I even ask it for anything. So that's, that's going to be the world of the future. Like everybody's going to have this amazing team 
but it's not a team of real people, it's a team of AI, AI agents, agents. Wow. that are going to actually help them really you know, define like, you know, how you work and they're going to be very proactive. Right. They're going to be helping you before you ask for help. So everything from, you know, for us, say, from everything from scheduling to, say, when maybe the editing as well could be done as a teammate? Everything, everything. Like, and not just that, like I also talked about, you know, AI being a coach for you. Coach, right. You do some work, right. and it's going to actually tell you, like, you know, what you could have done better. Yeah, exactly. Like, even yeah. in the interview as well, if yeah. there's a, a little bit of lighting issue, it might tell me the issue yeah. about the lighting as well. Absolutely. That's awesome. Uh, yeah. That's good to know, Arvin. One more quick question. Since we're yeah. here at Google Cloud, I'm yeah. kind of interested to learn a little about the partnership that you'll have. Yeah. What have you been hearing from the folks around, and uh, yeah. what excites you about Google? Yeah. Well, Google has been a core partner to us right. ever since we started. Yeah. And uh, you know, our technology, like you know, we built it um, on on top of Google Cloud. We used a lot of you know amazing technologies like Vertex and right. Gemini. Yeah. Um, and 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 at the same time, you know, we also have a go-to-market partnership, you know, with with Google, where uh, we we go together to customers and you know bring this joint offering. Because you know, when you think about Glean, like Glean, you know is actually in reality Glean plus Google, you know, technologies that we are selling to our customers. Oh, love it. So, yeah. a, so, they, so that's the great, you know, go-to-market motion that we have with the company and we're really excited to be here. You know, this is one of our key events, you know, where we, you know, get to meet with our future, you know, customers. Well, that's awesome and uh, we can see the excitement all around as well. We can see your booth jam-packed and the excitement about, you know, the agents and what you all have been doing in the search space. Uh, we'll keep the conversation going, Arvind. One more last question for you is about, I know there's Glean Go that's coming up uh, very soon in May. Yes. Uh, what is it going to be like? Well, Glean Go is our first user conference okay. that we're going to host. Um, so super exciting, you know, there are a lot of new product capabilities that you're going to be seeing. Uh, we're not going to spill the, all the secrets right yes. now, but, <laughs> but, but, but I think at a high level, you will see um, a lot more advanced capabilities in our agent platform that will be coming, you know, with Glean Go. Okay. So, you know, super excited for you. You know, please go and check it out. Like, you know, it's on May twentieth. You should be. I like, would love to have you join the event. Fantastic, and it's happening in San Francisco in person. That's right. That's right. That's awesome. I'll keep the audience posted. But uh, Arvind, thanks for taking the time out. Thanks for chatting. Such great insights. Uh, uh, we'll be at Glean Go as well and we'll keep the conversation going. Thank, Thank you, you so much. It was, Thank you. It was fun talking to you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.